What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Redemption 46. My name is Ashley. Nick. I am Louis And I'm Jared. What's going on, guys? Before we jump into this, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys share, comment, and do all the good stuff. Interact with us. We're here to have fun and we want to get to know you guys. Because you guys know us. Mm-hmm. After you watch multiple videos. We well, know sure. what you probably done already. Nick saw you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might spit off the top of this. Don't go ahead. My boy, this is my first time here. <laughs> but I'm a new buddy. You guys already know the vibes. Bunnies. New jeans. jeans are back with another song. New jeans. O M G. Let's jump into this. A lot of performances available on Patreon. Hey, a little bit of foreshadowing. Dance practice as well. Why are you whispering? It's all the tricks. Don't come to me, little boy. I'm 저는 당신을 위해 존재합니다. 당신이 부르면 언제 어디라도 달려갈 거예요. 당신이 보고 싶어 하는 것을 보여주고 당신을 위해 말하고 당신을 위해 노래할 거예요. 당신이 제게 원하는 것은 무엇일까요? 제 머릿속은 항상 이 질문으로 가득합니다. 그동안 제가 고민했던 것이 부끄러워졌습니다. 제게 누구인지는 이제 중요하지 않아요. 저는 당신을 위해 존재합니다. 그러니까 지금 네가 실이라는 얘기야? 네, 그렇습니다. 
some time I felt like as soon as the uh, progressions and the beat happened then it kind of like picked up a little bit especially towards the tail and the producer was just doing what he wanted to do um at this point we kind of know what the talent is with new jeans um what I'm really digging with this and the last one is actually the videos more than anything um just the editing choices and stuff they did in here were decent like you said the fourth wall breaks um were cool yeah um it's crazy because um, I, I feel like some of this can play into some of the stuff that was going on with Ditto. I was joking saying that this could be like kind of a love letter. You said it pop out. <laughs> right. Um, I was saying that this could be like a love letter to kind of bunnies and stuff like that. Um, but I actually like the whole first aspect they did with the whole, um, like, you know, with the whole iPhone thing. Um, metaphor. Yeah, I feel like it's not, it's touched on, but most of the time more so it's like to play younger people. But I like that they kind of were self-aware about it and just kind of made a joke almost about it. Um, it's crazy too. I feel like that'd be us daily running through our cell phone doing shit. I want to break that fucking clock so bad every day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let y'all jump in, but I definitely like this a lot. I am curious to see what just the dance practices on here because you got little inklings of it and it yeah. it looked it cool. But a lot of this was more so story based, and I like that for them. They seem like even outside of doing. I'm not gonna say unconventional music, but music that's, um, to, in, in like my opinion, cute enough for uh, the demographic that they want to be on board, but also smart enough to where it's like they like make it. I don't wanna call it tweener music, but uh, just music that can double play like with that's a lot of different people. Between age groups. Yeah, it won't alienate. Um, I'm not gonna say golf chicks. Um, it won't alienate any type of different demos when it comes to like women. I feel like their message is more so like general mm -hmm. as opposed to some stuff that may just be like, you know, a pink room with with the bunnies and teddy bears and everything. I, they just walk that line so well to me with uh, like almost seeming relatable to any walk of life when it comes to young women. Um, and I like that a lot. And then just the MVs are just decent. Like they just doing stuff that isn't. 
isn't uh like being done in K-pop. Most of the shit will be like, you know, just a nice location. You dance and show your faces. They joke about it at the end. Um, and then sometimes some stuff is a little too on the nose, in my opinion, with uh, like some of the concepts and everything like that. They just look like they're having fun. Like all the shit looks super fun. I'm pretty sure if you watch behind the scenes, they probably smiling the whole time. And they acting chops is a little bit crazy too, little kid. Yeah, they've been showing off. To feed off of your point, I do appreciate how the song is very pop, very radio friendly, um, beautifully arranged. Very, like you said, cute, right? It's for a specific demographic, but it falls along that line where it's kind of open to interpretation, where it doesn't mm-hmm. really need to be like cute, right? Like you ever, it's kind of like how when you hear like an aggressive rapper, like on a soft, you know that that like weird juxtaposition that you get when something is like for example here very cute but also very very self-aware and I think things that are self-aware it takes a lot of intelligence to be able to execute that without being over the top and too on the nose and as far as everything else yeah they did good but this video this is dope I love this video I love videos like this I like this, uh, of course, with New Jeans, they really haven't had, like, a true miss with me, um, even with, like, the cold cookie thing, they really haven't had any true miss, uh, this, this low-key, I ain't gonna say it's my favorite video, because I think I like the, uh, the holiday stuff, the hype boys, and the attention, like I said, but I, you know, I love narrative videos, as well as, I, I like narrative, I've been saying it the past couple, like, months, if I'm not mistaken, about how narrative videos kind of hit a little bit more to me, but the best videos in general will have a narrative and some great like performance parts and everything. To get the music shit out the way, they look great in the performance aspect. The dance looks smooth and swaggy, um, and very kind of like you know, I don't know, not like tomboyish, but obviously like you said, cute, but not overly cutesy. And to the point where it's like, all right, I can't watch this shit. Or it's, like, or it's, or it's insufferable. Like, turn this shit off! You know, um, so that was cool. I love the, that break in the production when it really starts, like, the, when the beat speeds up and everything like that. And they bring, like, the toms and everything in. Great use of that, that, uh, that drum kit. I don't think I've heard that drum kit used like that. Uh, in K-pop, definitely not for, like, with girl groups and everything. So that's pretty dope. Um, but this video, though, is very meta. Very meta, and I took some of the parts like kind of like a poking fun at like the idols or like the fandoms rather. Mm-hmm. Especially uh, once you get to the end, and it says "modo saram," that means everyone. And the thing that they were tweeting was, "I can't stand it." So they're saying like every AC, everyone's talking shit or hating on them and kind of just throwing shade and stuff. Uh, and I'm with them. I could only assume that's post cookie. That, that cookie, the hate yeah, stuff. I was that say, what are you talking about? I think everybody loves you. Guys. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, but that was, but you know, I felt I just me being me. I felt like with all the hype they got pre date with the pre debut songs and everything like that. Some people, obviously, fans of other groups, because you know we know how toxic K pop and fandoms can get in general. As soon as the cookie thing happened, that shit did get blown out of proportion. No matter what, how I felt about the song, I felt like a lot of people used that in. The stuff with Min He Jin, if I'm not mistaken, they definitely pounced on that. It felt like it was like, oh, that's the reason we shouldn't support them. They're, they're like, finding chinks in your armor. Yeah, I felt like that was that kind of thing, and that's the literally been the only negative thing I've heard about New Jeans, uh, or people say about New Jeans and everything like that. But it definitely felt like they was poking fun at people yes, for um, talking trash about them, and it's like a little bit of commentary on mental health. I don't know if it's positive or negative, but I definitely feel like there's some, like, just kind of telling people to chill the fuck out, or like, yo, you're crazy, or kind of, you know, stuff like that. It's kind of how, not to cut you off, but to double down on your drum, I'm gonna let you jump right back in. That's almost how Ditto was. Ditto mm-hmm. felt so self-aware, mm-hmm. where it almost was like, but at least how I, interpret, how I interpreted Ditto was that, Basically, the young girl in the video was a bunny, and she loved new jeans so much that she was making it a part of her daily life and was kind of zoning out everything in real life that was happening. So on, on Ditto and stuff, they basically, uh, 
almost tell them like it's cool to listen to our music, but it's also cool to engage with what's going on in life. Like, don't let life go past. Sounds you. like <laughs> nah, real shit. And, and I thought like that was a dope message, and I felt like to double down on what you're saying, they definitely hit mental health kind of like again and yeah. obsession. Because the phone thing is an exception. Exactly. exception. You like, literally you living in this, you're saying, I live for you, I come when you call, all that stuff like that. And you mm-hmm. see kind of just going through it. And um, like I said, that's so dope uh, to see them do this kind of content. Because I think when a great artist comes out, uh, or at least in modern times, when a great artist comes out, it's usually not just one thing you like about them. It's kind of like a whole package kind of deal. So their music videos are different from most other K-pop groups. Their sound is different from most other, especially girl groups. Their sound is totally different. Their energy, how they're dressing. You got a lot of things going for them. Yeah, it's not a lot, like over, like we said, it's not over the top to where like, yo, y'all like a girl version of NCT, the way y'all dress with all this tech gear and crazy shit, but then it's not like super cutesy and uncomfortable outfits and shit like that that's impractical or kind of hard for women to dance in. Like you would see most of them at Starbucks, like. Fuck Starbucks, it look like I was hung in one of them kids that be Ubering and shit. You got the kids that's Ubering. Yeah, leaving the school nice early. Check car. <laughs> like, what am I doing here at 12 o'clock, man? He's like, yeah, I'm Ubering, I'm cutting. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, cutting the Uber, yeah. crazy. Get your coins. Hey, <laughs> pay me. Yeah. But, uh, I'm no. you cutting doing that. Yeah, uh, so that, that's kind of what I get from this video, that it's uh, kind of like a little bit of social commentary, a little, little bit meta, poking fun at, like I said, the fandoms, like I said, especially that very last part, it just definitely seems like, it's like, all right, cause she said, let's go back to your room. But see, it does kind of seem like a diss, calling them crazy, like the people who was throwing shade to them and the hate and everything, like, like I said, post cookie and everything. And like I said, she said, all right, it's time for you to go back to your room. So, I don't know. I like, they're a little spicy, man. They're a little, they're a little spicy. I, um, I like this, 10 out of 10 for me, man. What's up, my man? I like this as well. <clears throat> um, the song was really good. It didn't catch me at first, like Nick said. And Keith, but once that beat dropped, it really like started making me dance and started paying attention more. The video is really what caught my eyes and kind of closed my ears a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Simply because on how much they played back into their old video, so it really makes you think how much of Ditto could be played into this one because she was kind of crazy so would she be in a psych ward now and still seeing new genes and once her to stop and get their attention at the end that's why they want them to stop with the dancing and stuff but they're getting caught onto her mm-hmm. caught onto the group so it does make you wonder and want to break down the videos a lot more <clears throat> as you can see throughout this video though you can see the dance moves from Ditto uh, not the dance moves, the scenes, the, gym, the classroom, the gym. Uh, it was one more scene they were at, and I think it was from another video as well, though. They were doing the same dance. So it's funny how they always had this in mind at other shoots. So I really want to know if there's any like, play onto this or into their next project. So maybe this is like leading up the story. Uh, I would have to like agree with Nick as well. Again, <clears throat> I really want to see this uh, dance practice. They didn't really show dance moves, but what they showed, they killed it. Per usual. All dance practices are going to history. Straight up in your local area. Right now. But. In your local area. I think I got wild for everything in my local area. I like this. I just like their videos. Like their videos are super dope, especially the last two. Shoot, last three, because the last one was two videos. Can we talk to shit, bro? If this was uh, in response to some of the backlash from Cookie, I do wonder uh, how long ago like they wrote it. Because you know how sometimes rappers are have like this is, I wrote that when I was 16, waiting for a bitch ass to get out on. <laughs> when did Cookie come out? Like August, right? Yeah. Uh, no. I feel like, I feel remember they debuted like, like we, got, we got the, no, no. Summer. August was August, no, Cookie August, was the debut song. No, remember, it's pre, pre, so we watched Attention. Mm-hmm. Yes, and they debuted like a week later, remember? We came back in. Those We got those first four or three songs, and then the next week we came in and we did Cookie. I mean, if I swear, I, I remember they debuting just being like the first week of December. I could be wrong, but um, just fact check. Yeah. yeah, Attention is in July. 
You win the cookie. Oh, okay, yeah. August first. Okay, shit. Who the fuck debuted in December? <laughs> Anti. Hey, Anti. Label mates. Cause I was like, by the time December came out, remember they had to go to Mama, mm-hmm. and they performed the tune, so they had, you know, they had that little run already. Yeah, I know some. Uh, I ain't gonna say some. People act funny with they debut anyway. People was acting like they treat they debut on a different day than when they actually came out. Yeah, I, 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 I let them have it. Like, yeah, y'all yeah. debuted when them first songs came out. Man, in my opinion, so I know it's a big bunch of people that was like, I don't count that. It's, 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 uh, it's on the show. And I don't count January first as the New Year. So, <laughs> what's your religion? <laughs> Real astrology. Uh, my father video was really really good. Uh, I don't know, I got a little bit of a different perspective, but I definitely thought the video was a think piece. Um, it almost seems like New Jeans in the last video, or the last two videos, um, A and B, and this, um, are kind of like figments of the imagination of whoever needs them at the time. Um, even to the point where one of the girls looked like she was almost like, uh, like a, a spirit. Like a ghost. Yeah, a ghost. She was looking at a teddy bear that was sitting in the corner, but when they go back to it, the teddy bear was actually a person. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was looking at them, but there was nobody. They had kept flashing in and out of reality. She glitched out, too. It wasn't yeah. there at one point. Like, it, it's it's definitely a dope junk. Um, it's almost like they're kind of building their own, building their own, you know, universe. And uh, I definitely like that. I definitely think that's a good look for this group. Um, the iPhone metaphor was, was crazy. It was very, very on point. Um, and then one of them saying, I'm not a doctor, but she's in all the, the psych ward shots as a doctor and patient. So what is she really? Um, and she's sure like, and she's like, one of them does have a, a grip on what our reality of them is but it might not be their reality uh, because she's also a patient. Mm. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, no, nah, the other one, and I think, I don't think, the one that was spiritual, I don't think she even spoke on what it was or what she thought like the situation might be. Um, or I don't even know if anybody even acknowledged it. Uh, but, oh no, I thought this was like a really, really good video and I'm kind of waiting to see what else happens within the universe and more videos they put out. Um, just to kind of see where this is going, I'm I'm kind of interested. And for a little bit, I did kind of like Zach said, turn gears off and pay more attention to the video uh, from you know the what they were trying to show, the aesthetics, everything else, as opposed to just listening to the song. Once that beat kicked in, it was kind of hard not to. Um, it was definitely a good one. This is and it has a lot of rewatchability because it makes you want to look back and see what did I forget, mm. what did I miss. And even so far as the edit when they were in, uh, going back through the new jeans story, um, and you know, just kind of like, okay, stop. And then, so I wonder, like, did they recreate that attention scene, or did they shoot that the first time, knowing what they were going to do? Oh, they had some extra, right? Um, so, like, that was that was kind of interesting as well. Um, I mean, she's actually carrying that teddy bear around with her. Mm-hmm. In the, okay, that's interesting. Um, so I'm just kind of curious as to what it is, and maybe she believes that she's a doctor, but she's really not. Um, but either way, at the end, she had the shirt on. Yeah, she I thought she walked him in the back. <laughs> sure, he got clearance. She got clearance for young boy that was posing as a doctor <laughs> years ago. Uh, not the uh, nigga yeah. in Miami, yeah, in Florida boy. Like, uh, <laughs> but like in that scene right there. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about the black, black, black. Yeah, the of, I think he got booked in Florida too. Like she said, got booked, doctor, like, but there's actually time. doctors sitting there staring at her, looking at her like, what are you talking about? Um, he's so it's all depends on your perspective, I guess, or her perspective, or whatever reality is. Um, no, but this is definitely a good job, especially the end. Everything that she drew on the pad, the guy who ever picked up her pad saw out the window, or flashed in the video. We saw the cat, we saw the bear, we saw the ambulance, we saw everything that was shown on the pad throughout the video. Because he was right. racing on the ambulance too. Right, so this might actually just be, the video just might take place in her mind. Um, and there's not, none of this really happened. Um, I do love the, um, the stories. And how, you know, so it is, I think one of them was like person on the train or girl train or whatever. Mm. Um, and then they kind of turned to her being on the train. Actually, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, they did the Snow White thing. Yeah. yeah. Subway. 
Um, they did the Snow White thing, they did the Cinderella thing, you know what I mean? They're going she through the her. Influence. Right, they're going through the storylines for her. I guess that's what her thing is. She's stuck in the storybook, um, storybook world. Um, I don't know, all in all, I thought this was really, really dope. Really dope concept. I would really love to kind of deep dive into it and see more. Um, and just kind of get a vibe of, of what they're really going with this. Because it, it is very interesting and it is very kind of abstract. And you don't really see videos being done like this, period. And all those stories and everything, all different themes and uh, you mm -hmm. know, like worlds and shit at the end of them too, that's kind of dope. So I wonder how they plan on it, because it's a seven, the seven of them. Yeah, oh, you talking about the... How many stories there? It looks like seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty it's interesting. Seven. Also, like I said, going back to the, like, some of the more be the beginning parts and everything, like, when she was going through the apps and you see, like, the male part and it's all of that, obviously we know how much, you know, how much... Uh, if they have social media handles, how much they get contacted, you can imagine how many DMs they have and everything like that. That's just a visual reputation of it, uh, a representation of it, how much uh, mail and how much people have to say about them and everything like that overflowing. Then she's going through reading all that and then after that it says, I no longer exist for me or I, I no longer, it doesn't matter who I am anymore, it's I only exist for you. And that's like I said, going back to the idol thing, just or seeing how it is, uh, kind of some of the commentary on being an idol and everything. We've had these discussions at length at this point. Um, that I can see how they feel that way, but it's crazy that they're already at that point, you know, and they haven't even been out for a year and stuff like that. So other niggas Ooh. like, hey, but six months, I'll bench it. Be like, hey, <laughs> man, but when, when you hot, when you a mega rookie, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, that's kind of what comes with ter the territory, especially in these days, how hyper-focused mm -hmm. everything is on doing, having all kills and knocking shit out the park. But you know something too, low? Um, I like their approach too, because their, their label mates did that approach too, kind of. Mm -hmm. We got give and take in. Yeah. We got blessed curse. So you have like the juxtaposed feelings of a lot of fourth gen groups that come out and already feel like they catch in like too much. So many but I like people on I that played on it. About so the fourth generation, it feels like it's so much pressure on these groups that if they don't come out with a smash immediately, a lot of times, oh they're a bust or they're this regular this mega rookie or bust. Okay. Yeah, basically. And you know, with the girl groups kinda of doing that last year, uh, about four groups in particular, you know, really just coming out and killing shit. It's real interesting to just see like the one who I think had the best year, personally, outside of, I mean, obviously, um, one of their label mates won a lot of the, uh, the day sings and everything like that. I think they should have got at least one of them, uh, but, you know, whatever. Um, I think that's so interesting, just kind of seeing how, like I said, their approach to it is not just, oh, we're, just, we're not just about to sing and dance to you. We're going to give you this commentary. We're not afraid to talk back or be controversial or whatever like that. Like I said, that whole... The beginning skit and then the ending part is all very telling. Is like kind of like the attitude. At least of, I don't know this of the group specifically, but someone in there. Yeah, that they, was they feel show. that way. Yeah, that was, that that shit, that shit, was a door in the. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. It almost kind of shit the same like, you know? But I was saying like you know um, the authenticity, like uh, exactly who are writing these songs. Or who, or, you know, we know who's performing, but who's writing them? Are they writing them? Um, and their voice or the crew's voice, and sometimes that has to be asked as well. Um, Crazy thing is, I still think they song like Cookie, and he was like, "Okay, well, who whose voice is this in? Um, mm -hmm. Is it their voice or is it whoever wrote the song's voice?" Um, if we Google to see if, they, if, if they've been writing, they should. Uh, I, I heard two of them were writers. I thought two a couple of them were Yeah, and but with this though, I feel like this could still be them how they feel because I'm pretty sure they're on social media or like reading stuff. And seeing people talk about them, I don't have an they, issue. They probably it's haven't. Not them. No, yeah, no, they no, probably didn't write the lyrics. It's not your first back. year or two. It would make more yeah. sense if it's not them because there is a lot. You know, what I mean, like that opening sequence definitely seems like somebody who's been through so shit. You sound like you know a lot, and it's kind of just tired. You've been here before, right? Like, like I'm, I'm really just tired. Maybe I don't, and I don't know how much of they've been through. I don't know how long their process has been um, since you know inception into the program and and, and debut. But um, it's just some of the stuff that that was uh, in that first little iPhone, you know, metaphor was was definitely heavy. Um, and not to say that they can't get heavy, but it just seems like somebody who's had a lot of experience in a certain situation. Is kind I don't think a seventeen-year-old right. kid, girl or boy, is going to be thinking super or that tired of like that. Or you know, I mean, just like yo, I'm that tired of that shit that quick. Well, I mean, you never know. 
He's definitely we, an we try, yeah, generation. So I was about, about to say, say yeah, some of these some of these kids they'll they'll definitely go off the deep end. But like I said, I, I feel like it probably was a collaboration effort because who knows? Like I said, I'm pretty sure they're on social media. Maybe not like individual accounts, but they're probably going and reading some of the shit that's been said about them, whether it be K Media, whether it be oh, yeah. on Weaver, all the other ninety percent of celebrities, athletes, and everything. Yeah, they, they, they read they people shit. Yeah. Later on, it'll come out like, man, I was reading all that shit. Like, Somebody <laughs> got a burner account. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they just, he just doesn't subscribe. <laughs> um, he got, oh. he got piece. right, he'll be on her. Some people be fine. Um, also, I actually do think this approach was lighter compared to Ditto uh, when we. Remember when we had kind of rewatched it back when we was doing like our reaction, the video actually got dark as shit. And almost and it, got, it got creepy a little bit. Yeah. With no music on, it got even more creepy and shit. So this is like kind of chilling even with no music and just kind of watching and shit. But yeah, shout out to them. Anybody else say anything we'll do? Great video. Yeah, like jump it. in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Tell us if we were wrong as hell. So like, nah. Uh, with new gene stuff, it seems like most stuff is more open to interpretation and theories. I love these videos because we get to really just get our clips off. Um, with that being said, hit the subscribe button, become a real redeemer today. Also, jump on the Patreon. We're about to see what this dance practice is about on there. Um, it's time for the turn battle. Nah, real shit. Um, I feel like their battle contemporary has to probably be another fourth gen girl. Probably somebody who uh, was in a war with them, Sarah. or a war that they should have took from something. Like, so, I don't know. I'm going to try to see Professor Xavier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love y'all. We love y'all.